Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Rad Kutarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is going to be a Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Moon, and uh, Sagittarius Rising, Monte Tower reading, October 2019. And bear with me just a couple of seconds, guys, here to shuffle the tarot cards. And uh, we will be ready to jump right into it. Alright, so the first card which represents the topic for you Sagittarius for the month here is going to be uh, the Two of Wands, followed by the next one which stands for the challenges that you guys have to overcome throughout the month. We do have the card of the Tower. Then the third one, it is the best possible approach to the situation. There is no real kind of like a name that I can describe the card. It is like, you know, your your standpoint, your intentions, you know, and things you got to do throughout the month. So you can take the upper hand there and improve your circumstances. That will be the two of swords. Afterwards, we do have the uh, lesson that you need to learn and uh, or the, the lesson that the month is going to teach you here, the reason behind why all this is happening, Nine of Pentacles. And the last one is going to be the energies that are to support you. Excellent card in this uh, in this reading in, in such of a follow up, especially with the tower here at the second place. That will be the Four of Swords. So quite of an interesting month uh, here, a very busy one or at least mentally wise, all right? But before we go into that and um, pick up the reading card by card, let's run let's run the cards one more time. So two of ones is going to be the topic followed by the tower card, which stands for the challenges. Then we do have the two of swords, which represents the uh, best possible approach to the situation, followed by the nine of pentacles, that it represents the lesson that you are to learn throughout the month. And the last one, it is the supporting energies, that will be the four of swords. Okay, so two of wands as a topic here is going to be catalyzed by the king of wands. So quite so a strafe is that you are going to have. I mean, that, that we are talking here about ambition, all right? A very ambitious drive, a, a very um, enthusiastic drive it is that you are going to adopt throughout the month. It's because you will simply going to see how much you can grow, either career-wise, either relationship-wise, you know, friendship-wise, or in a specific project or, project or on an endeavor. The thing is that you will have that idea, all right? And finally, you see the the opening here, the circumstances aligning themselves right, so you can transform that idea in a very, very powerful drive, recognizing that you may be sitting on a good achievement, all right? You, you are maybe finding yourself at a quite good place in the world right now, but you shouldn't stop here, but you need to find a way how to improve those skills of yours, those capabilities of yours those situations of yours and for that reason the more uh, the more ideas rather like the 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 
more brilliant ideas you do have in your head, in your head throughout the months, the more uh, ambitious you are going to become, which there is nothing wrong with it at all. And on top of it, it looks like that the month is going to be quite of an, an exhilarating, uh, quite of an exhilarating period, because the month itself is going to be as well dappled with quite of a pleasant enterprises like uh, partying with friends, you know, hiking, for example, if you do life, if you do love hiking, the whole point of these two cards is that you're going to um, enjoy the life exactly the way you want, or you're going to enjoy every single aspect of the life because you're gonna have simply a, a knack for it. Uh, also it's not impossible that throughout the month with these two cards Sagittarius that you build up some um, influence okay influence in the sense of the people are to see you as a uh, not not only capable person but also as a, as a person who does not cut any corners who does have standards that's very important and as well who is determined to um, to basically manifest their uh, their ideas and what they are going for close in a fashion close to perfection. But what is going to be the challenge for you guys? That will be the tower card. And this is about the circumstances. So a tower card here is going to be, wow, accompanied or catalyzed by the Ten of Swords. Uh, the, we are talking here about very... Um, uh, I unpleasant and simultaneously unexpected circumstances that are to happen, which are going to throw your strategies away, all right? They're just going to blow your mind in a sense of how you have to readapt to the situation. On the plus side, um, after this, or rather like after you adapt, you are to find many uh, more... Um, fields to grow in all right or or ways how to improve your circumstances even to uh, even in a greater extent that you init initially anticipated but the circumstances which are uh, appearing themselves surprising uh, in a surprising way excuse me um that are completely annihilating your plans and um i, I cannot say your hopes all right but your expectations as way well, uh, as well are going to throw you in a very despondent state at least for a short period of time now what is important here to acknowledge with these two cards although very powerful and very destructive they do kind of like reek on destruction they are to destroy only those um only those circumstances around you or those things you have around you that you can either improve or they serve you no longer a, any favor whatsoever. These two cards here as a challenge points that it is time for you to be more uh, unyielding, if I may express myself that way, to be more prone to do tough calls, to be more prone to shut a, a doors toward the past, to burn bridges with the past, all right? And to do those, or kind of like to take those uh, unrevocable decisions that you need to do in order to uh, provoke a new dawn in your life, because this is what we are talking about here, a new dawn, and the new dawn cannot, the, sh the sun cannot rise in, a, um, in an old world, or rather like the, the sun rises only once today, and then it will rise again tomorrow. You cannot have it risen again today. So you basically kind of like have to put your past behind your back and uh, aim to rebuild your future. Quite of a, uh, a violent, uh, a violent circumstances we do have here, but uh, the, the, the plus side of those circumstances, Sagittarius, is that uh, they always lead to nurturing and healing effects at the end, okay? So even if they appear into your career and you face a serious crisis into your career, once that crisis is managed by you, uh, you are to see that you can actually grow even further into your career than your uh, original anticipation. And same goes in regards to uh, your personal and private life. So the next one, it is about it is about best possible approach to all the situation. We do have the two of swords, and it is accompanied by or catalyzed here by the knight of swords. So first thing you gotta do here, guys, is do not panic. A very very important thing. Second, you need to be. Um, 
mentally agile to be able to process all of the information that it is around you because there will be an, an a lot of an information why things are happening what is the reason behind it you know uh, toward what end what kind of a strategy you can get you can you can make and uh, so on and so forth another thing it is that you shouldn't give up so your determination here is going to be a imperative for your uh, for your success into your endeavors career or relationship wise as well additionally to that uh, your well i already said it but i will say again intellectual agility in a sense of that you have to be open for suggestions all right you have to be open for a new strategies that can take place just because your current strategy cannot work in your career or into your relationship that doesn't mean that any kind of strategy cannot work and here it is where you need to feed on your ambition i mean your ambition is going to be the thing that does not allow you to uh to give up and of course you know your iron will if you uh if you ask me but ultimately at the end all comes to that to make a, a decision but only when you do have all of the information and only when you can look at it from every point of view okay because be before you decide what to do with your growth here and with your ambition and how to transform it into a powerful actions, powerful drive, you got to consider all points of view. And uh, what was I about to say here? Oh yeah, but also do not neglect, you know, your uh, your feelings as well, uh, in, a, in a sense of that do not become, become stone cold and ruthless here. Uh, that That is an important, as <clears throat> important aspect of a... Um, of your future performance as well. So uh, the next card that we do have for you, Sagittarius, is going to be the reason behind it, the lesson that you are to learn. I see uh, you are going to learn it um, the hard way here. That will be the Nine of uh, Pentacles, and it is accompanied by the Ace of Swords. So it's about a, a desperate times cause for a desperate measures. Or in another words, that despite of how hopeless one situation look initially, and I want to stress this one out, initially, because when uh, you face those challenges of the Tower and the Ten of Swords, all right, um, the, it is most of the time you will kind of feel that there is no point moving on forward. You will, you will feel that like, uh, like the world, the world, it's it's brought down and nothing really matters anymore. Okay, so kind of like feeling helpless, like you can't do anything about it. But you can. Okay, you can jump into this career. Uh, you can into this endeavor. I'm sorry, career or relationship wise, you can leap forward. And it is about all about a like I said, you know, not giving up. And you're gonna learn this uh, the hard way. But as well, a it's a matter of hope also, and it's a matter of a positive um, positive attitude that you need to uh, that you need to have. Uh, you can actually traverse this one, and it's all about a uh, challenging yourself because face it that way, guys. I mean, if you do the same thing over and over again, uh, it comes to a point where that is not a an achievement at all. And what we said at the at the start of the reading is that this month is you improving yourself, being becoming simply better, um, uh, going after an ambition of yours, and that happens only through you facing challenges. Yeah, I could say here that the universe is a little bit more rough, uh, more rough than it needs to be on you with the Tower and the Ten of Swords, but that will only quench you. That will make you even harder to defeat. That will make you even bigger force to be reckoned with, career-wise or relationship-wise. And uh, finally, uh, with this uh, with this lesson, once you once you learn it, the victory is going to be the sweetest thing you have ever tasted. I mean, the flavor of it is, is going to be something that cannot be substituted by uh, by anything else. Um, but yeah, you you should not drop off hope. Um, and uh, despite of how the situation looks uh, looks like, I mean, it's it's all about repeating to yourself that no matter what you can win all right you can persevere you can end up uh beneficial at the end and uh, 
the supporting energies here, we do have the Four of Swords and it is accompanied by the Justice card. So energy wise, uh, it sounds, uh, it looks like more as a um, inner wisdom that you're gonna have or rather like a, uh, a very hidden um, analytical uh, analytical string over the over the conclusions and and the and the arguments which are lingering and dwelling around you what i mean here it is the subconsciously with these two cards you will deep down within yourself you will know or kind of like consulting cons consulting yourself with yourself you are going to become more and more convinced that's um, approaching this um, the, the stressful situations throughout the months is gonna bear more results than uh, being uh, by escalating the tension, you know, being frantic about it and being also reckless about it as well. These energies also are gonna uh, give you exactly what you uh, what you deserve here. But the best thing about these energies, Sagittarius, it is that it seems that this times and the pressure that you're going to have with lulls, with lulls in between, of course, because they will not. It's I, I, I'm sorry, guys, if I made you on an impression that the whole month is going to be like very stressful and you will not be able to catch up your breath and all these kind of stuff. Just on the contrary, take it like a uh, there will be like a, a four days there that you are gonna feel that extreme tension that you gotta do something about and feeling helpless and hopeless in regards to the situation. But as soon as you kind of like collect your thoughts, you know, and gather up your uh, the information that you do know, um, then you are to see the light at the end of the tunnel. But the thing is that uh, this, uh, uh, these times that you're gonna spend under pressure will, uh, will help you, the, the energies will help you to structure your priorities in such a fashion that you are to face the daily, uh, the daily ups and downs throughout, throughout the, the uh, times of, um, of pressure. Uh, with much more ease, but they they will become much more bearable. It is what I am trying to say. It's because you are not gonna lose your sanity. You are not gonna lose your mind. You will be always objective. Your objective uh, in front of you, and you determine to do the right steps in this direction. So that being said, Sagittarius, this was your monthly tarot reading, October 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And uh, we are going to see each other around. Until then. Bye.